Hey guys, good afternoon. Oh, it's so nice in London right now. Can you see there's hardly any clouds? Um, today, oh, I do like this subject. I'm talking about social media and the NARC. So it's social media plus NARC equals new supplies. Social media plus the narcissist equals new supply. Okay. I don't know what the situation is with you. I'm going to let you know the situation with me. The narcissist never put me on his social media and the way he got away with it was because he would say you know he was in the mu in the music industry and he would say you know it doesn't look good you know if I put my girlfriend on my Instagram account and that's a perfect that's a perfectly fine excuse perfectly fine the thing is I'm in a relationship right now and me and my partner don't put each other on social media and that's because we've agreed that anything that basically people are just jealous and they're evil eye and we want to protect our relationship so we're not going to put ourselves online you know i know his family his family knows me everyone knows each other who actually matter in our lives so we don't need to show the world who we are but the narc will hide you on social media okay there's a few scenarios they will hide you okay to appear single to get a whole bunch of new supplies and especially if they're using something like them being a music industry think about how many girls want to be with rappers how many girls want to be with music producers how many girls want to be with guys or girls in the entertainment industry so they use that as bait they use that to attract people to them the other scenario is that they may put you on social media okay and that's what makes you feel comfortable that's why you you know listen to the lies about you know him not cheating and the rest of it because he'll probably say or she will probably say look you're on my social media look there's pictures and there's videos of us all over don't be fooled by that either and let me tell you why there's a guy that kept bothering me on my social media and he had he was married and he had his wife plastered all over it if i show you the screenshots of what he was saying to me and what he they do that because it's it's you're not going to be looking through his phone are you if you're on his social media okay you're not going to be thinking that he's cheating if you're on his social media if he's in an industry where it's busy where it's you know he's got he's got to spend a lot of time doing something when he's out there cheating late at night he has an excuse and then when you start acting insecure as they would say you can say, look, you're on my social media. Everybody knows about you. Why are you getting jealous? Why are you this? Why are you that? And then that's what makes you fall back a bit. But also don't believe that. Just because you're on his social media doesn't mean. Because there's toxic girls out here that love... Listen, I know of girls that love guys in relationships. They even love married, women, um, married men even more. They love because it's an ego boost for them to know that they've destroyed that relationship because of how they look or how their sex is or whatever it is they feel like they're so amazing about they feel amazing that they have taken that man it's even like a whole culture with female rappers and stuff you know i could take your man i could take your mac i could take your man and i won't give him back i'll get, take your man and you can have him back when i'm done all these words that they're talking about these are the toxic girls these are the toxic girls i'm talking about they will see you on his social media or her social media especially guys as well guys guys it's like an ego thing for guys as well to know that i've taken that man's woman that makes me feel good this is for toxic people this is what toxic people say i don't say that okay so please understand not all nurses have to hide the fact or act like they're single and they're not some actually just tell the, these girls the truth i'm married i'm in a relationship and do you think that stops anybody no or the toxic people so, should i say because it does stop us do you think that stops them no sometimes they will even if you're a very successful person if you're famous if you're very good looking you have a great body or whatever it is that is valuable in their eyes they're gonna flaunt that on social media so let's just say you're a model, okay? And you actually make more money, an actual model, right? He's gonna flaunt you all over his social media because now the new supplies are gonna feel, the toxic new girls are gonna feel like, oh my God, I've just taken this girl's guy. Like, I must be on her level. No, you're not. All them toxic girls and guys out here, look at me. All them toxic girls and guys, just because you take a man or a woman from somebody else doesn't mean you're on their level. 
doesn't mean you look like that doesn't mean that no it just means that that guy is a dirty dog that girl is a dirty dog too okay so the social media is used for that especially if you know they use their money for social media i know they've got always got a different pair of designer shoes on they have the money phone they have the cars they have the meetings the suits the doesn't matter how they portray whether you know whether they're doing a legal activity or they're in the corporate industry the corporate business in business investment whatever it is they're going to use their money and their lifestyle to get new supply whether you're on that social media or not they're going to use it this is why once you find out someone's a narc you have to leave or you at least have to emotionally detach yourself from that person okay because they're they're not gonna stop they're not gonna stop and especially if they're good looking and they have body and money and all three do you think they're gonna you could be the most lovely amazing woman in the world they're not gonna stop they're not gonna stop looking you know they're always looking for the grass is greener mentality they're always looking for something better you know a, a model with a bigger bum a model with more followers like remember these people are superficial these people are materialistic so social media you know it's gonna be their playground and don't let them manipulate you because there's stuff that you know an artist's done they will delete their Instagram in your face like delete I don't mean you know suspend they will delete your Instagram their Instagram in your face and they can do that because they have seven other Instagram pages that they use maybe the same person or a different person but look when you look it's a, it's, a, it's a listen it's a thing where even if your partner's not a narcissist there's still options there's always gonna be a prettier girl than you for your partner She's always going to have more money, better body, better face, whatever it is, longer hair. There's always going to be a different option or options for them. But it's up to you to realise that, you know, obviously we all want to be in a relationship. We all want to be married. Well, I don't know, but I'm talking about myself. But, you know, you want to be married in a relationship, have that happy, happy life. But, you know, you have to put yourself first in all of that. And when people talk about um, how, how were you married for so long, the wives always say, have your own life. Have your own money. Have your own things going on. So when your guy goes traveling or goes on the boys on a stag night or whatever he does in his life, you have your girls, you have your business. And if you have kids and want kids, you have your kids to look after. You're busy. So you don't need to be calling this guy all the time. And if this, this guy decides to leave, so be it like the video says social media plus knock equals new supplies which means there's there's dating apps there's social media there's just going out there's events there's so much things you can do to find people there's billions of people in this world for you to be stuck with the narcissist is insane it's insane and i know you've been through a lot with them i've been through a lot i've been through struggles i've i've i don't even want to go into what i've done in terms of you know sleeping on the streets I slept in a flipping coach station whilst I was pregnant with the narcissist. Can you believe? I can't even believe I even did that. All because I wanted something so bad. I wanted to be with him so bad. I wanted us to work so bad. When the force was telling us not, it's not going to work, I'm still pushing. And I don't want to give it up, but understand if they've cheated already, they're going to cheat again and again and again. And my, and my other video which talks about you know karma always gets the narcissist i talk about um a narcissist that i was seeing that was cheating with like six other women and had a relationship and had a baby on the way and he was trying to give me a baby and trying to put, put me in a relationship and social media is their playground so do be careful especially if you're dating with social media because that's their playground mate they love it you don't want it to be a, a point where, you know, you find out the guy that you really like went on a date, it's all good. You're, you're literally like soulmates. That he's a narcissist. Or he may not be a narcissist, but he's married. He may not be married, but he's addicted to gambling. Or there's always going to be something, you know, but the narcissists are the worst of them all because, you know, people can change from, you know, drinking and all these 
these toxic habits but the narcissist they, they're not going to change they're always going to cheat they're always going to gain new supplies whether that's new friends and think about it the narcissist has always got a new friend always a new person they're partying with and how long does that last for hmm and anyone that they do have that they've had like friend wise for like a long time these people are just not aware of what's going on I just believe that some people who are still called the narcissist they don't how do I get it out they haven't been through madness in life they haven't had to escape the madness so because of that they're still living in that bubble the matrix whatever I don't, I don't understand this blue pill red pill but they're taking the pill that we're not taking because we see it clearly now and it does hurt to see it clearly but this is just what it is and I just want you guys to just improve yourself so much I want you guys to love on yourself the same way you loved on the narcissist you know but um, that's what I've got to say about social media and the narcissist equals new supplies this is a fact it's not my opinion it's a fact they will gain new supplies from social media period so that thinking of you know he only cheated once and it was because of me I weren't giving him sex and this that and the other stop it stop it don't do it to yourself anyway please like comment and subscribe thank you my new subscribers and I'll see you for my next video bye